Hello there, I'm Frank Clark, and I'd like you to come with me on a fishing trip to Canada. And while we're there, we're going to paint a fisherman. Welcome everyone once again to Simply Painting and I'm shouting, I'm in Canada and this is the Kekebeka Falls. It's just outside Thunder Bay and there's a terrific legend about here. It concerns the Ojibwe tribe, the daughter of the chief. Her name was Green Mantle and she was tall, beautiful, elegant, a great dancer, everything. Anyway, by the time she reached her 17th birthday, she was the talk of the area. But unfortunately, she was kidnapped by the Sioux. Oh, yes. And they made her bring them back here and show them where her father's encampment was. However, what she did was she brought them down the river. And when she reached the edge of the falls, she paddled quickly to one side and swam to the shore. Now the Sioux didn't realize this and they went thundering over the falls. But some of them survived. But she was able to go back and warn her own father and the tribe and they were ready for them. Now there's another story that she actually went over the falls and that her spirit is here and every so often there's a beautiful rainbow and that's supposed to be her. You can take whichever you like but I thought it was a lovely story. And now it's time for us to find something to paint in the area. So before I go horse, we're going to do that. Hello there. Well, what about that? Mmm, amazing. Yes, those falls. <sighs> Scary. That was a good story too, wasn't it? Anyway, never mind that. What we've done is we've gone up the river a bit where it's not quite so rapid and we're going to do a little picture of a fisherman because that place abounds with fish. So we're into falls and fishermen this time. Yeah, but before we do, let's talk about the colours we're going to need to paint this picture. And they are. We've got seven watercolours. We've got a lizard and crimson, lemon yellow, raw sienna, burnt umber, ultramarine blue, light red, and hooker's green deep. There's a new one for you. We got some white gouache, which we will use. And then we have some art masking fluid. And we'll show you what that's for in a moment. Of course, we have our brushes. We got the large goat hair brush. We have the baby goat hair brush, which is half the size of the big one. We have a number six round nylon brush. Oops, which we just dropped and put back again. And then we have a rigger, which is a number three nylon brush. We have our palette or our tray to put a paint out on. We got some cloths, we got some water. And last, we have a sheet of watercolour paper measuring 14 by 10. It's upright and therefore we're going to paint in portrait. And without further ado, let's have some more fun. Horizon, sky, midland, foreground. So about six inches up the paper, we're going to draw the horizon line right across. Now, put the pencil away, put the masking fluid away, but keep the pencil in your hand because now we're going to draw a fisherman. And he is about 
I'm going to be about here somewhere. He's a big guy, yeah. What are we all? Yeah, it's about right. I'm looking at a little sketch I've done of him. Now his legs are there, he's got his boots on him and he's going into the water. Because he's up to his neck in it, as they say. Yeah. And the water's right there. Now, I think we just could chop him off a bit. Maybe just take a little bit off him there. See, use the old pencil. And then rub him out, that's it. Now the head. Hey, there he is, our fisherman. And he's got his arm there because we need it in that way. He's got his shirt on him. And then there's this side here, he's got his fishing rod and it goes up like so. Hey, there's our fisherman, look at that. He's got his jumper and stuff on it. Now we won't foost it around too much, that's fine. But well, we've got to do something else. We have the masking fluid, you know what we need it for? We need it for the fisherman, don't we? So take the top off, put the number six round brush into the water, dry it off a little bit, and then we're just gonna cover our fisherman with masking fluid. Just the outline. Right down into the water. You know why we're doing this? Because we're protecting him, because then when we rub off the old uh, masking fluid, of course we have a nice clean fisherman. We're also putting in the fishing rod there. There it is, reel and all. Now we give the other thing a swish around the old brush in the water, because we didn't take any more than 20 is here. Supposed to count to 20 and then clean it each time. Now put the top back on that, tighten it well, put it away, out with the hair dryer and be very careful of this, make sure you give it a good dry. Right, that was a really good dry. You can kind of test it with your finger, and if it doesn't come off in your finger, well then you're all right, it's dry. But don't ever attempt to paint over masking fluid when it's still wet or your brush will stick to it. That's what I'll